you're watching 8-bit days a week and I'm gonna be playing uh, a requested game by Julie plays a nice channel you also have there by the way and this is afterburner the Sega classic this is the arcade version all right So, of course, uh, this game never had any uh, PlayStation 1 port. Uh, um, it did appear on um, PlayStation 2. It, there was a Sega, some sort of Sega Aegis line there. And it had like the Afterburner and its sequels as well as a remake. Um, uh, okay. But yeah, pretty good stuff actually. And it's amazing that this was made a really long time ago. Oh, really? Man, I am bad here. Um, of course, uh, you can't have the complete arcade experience as uh, you cannot. There's no like cockpit you can sit down with. And the controls is not anything like a Thrustmaster or something, but your plain old PlayStation controller. It's, I know there was a like a certain angle you can leave your. I'm trying to find it. Um, it's kind of a cheap way actually to get through the game, but I know it works. That's how I did it in the arcades before. <laughs> All right, infinite lives. All right, nothing like Top Gun where we're fueling. This is one of the most hardest things you'll encounter in the game. Second to landing, of course. Oh, I can't find that right angle. Of course, I can't. It uh, kind of defaults to... Let's just waste away my missiles then. I suppose I could... Um, you can actually... I mean you can finish this game in uh, one sitting if you have the patience. Um, especially since we have like unlimited lives. And that's the thing about having unlimited lives. You kinda tend to not really care how your performance, your game, how you perform on the game. Since you could just respawn anytime. But anyway, as you can see, well, as expected of a uh, older game, it runs pretty great. No slowdown, no frame drop, and um, hmm, I'm pretty sure it's how it was back in the day. I mean the the graphics wise and sounds but yeah can you imagine um, back then they have these model sort of like a cockpit already just to provide us with the uh, this game, th an, an entertainment of uh, this level. Uh, I suppose it's in today's world, um, it's like VR, I guess. You're not wearing any goggles. When uh, after Burner Arcade was out there.
I actually enjoy these types of games on rail shooters. Of course, the other famous one is um, uh, Space Harrier. All right, see so stage six already. You just have the. Bleh. Patience, I was going to say, you can uh, go through this game really quick. Alright, I'm beginning to feel like um, it's kind of a lot harder navigating the, I mean, controlling the plane using just the controller like the d-pad because I can't seem to react quite fast enough to get my plane to move on the other direction there or you could just say I'm bad at this game I won't be surprised that's fine okay let me just keep trying Ugh. all right I apologize about my uh, gameplay there. Alright, thank you. And I know there's like a third one. That's really that was released for Sega CD, I think. It was a, a sort of like an FMV game. So, in hindsight, it it's kind of terrible. Like it felt like a step backwards compared to this one, actually, even the first one. But I guess FMV was kind of huge before because you're getting ooh realistic graphics, literally realistic graphics, and it's uh, almost like a low-res movie. seem to avoid that one so I wonder how much people would regularly spend on this g trying to finish this game Of course, experts probably save a lot, but to be an expert, you must have spent a lot. All right. Yeah, I knew I should have shouldn't have went crazy on my missiles earlier oh all right anyway uh, got a good pretty good idea on how this performs now on the PlayStation classic and um, I do apologize about my lack of skill on this game
anyway that's it for this video um if you have any more if you have any game requests you want to see tried on the playstation classic maybe i'll leave it on the comments and uh, thanks for watching it bit days a week see you in the next video